Hey YouTube, how's it going? Brandon here again. We I just figured out how to jailbreak the iPod Touch second generation uh, with the iOS 4 software. And um, uh, here I'll quickly show you that I have the 4.0 software. As you can see, I have folders all over. Yep. Um, the second thing about the second generation is that you cannot do multitasking or you cannot have a background. Um, but um, here I'll show you that I do have the 4.0. Let's see, let's go to general, go to about, and then you go down to version, and it says 4.08A293. Sorry, I don't think you guys I can see that. I think so. Okay, well, make sure that you are on the 4.0 software, and um, after you have the software, you're going to go to, uh, I'm going to have this link um, in the description, underneath in the sidebar, and um, you're going to be, you're going to download this uh, Red Snow, you're going to download Red Snow, uh, 0 0.9.5 beta 5-3 for Windows or Mac, whichever one you are on. You're going to do mirror 1. It's going to bring up a rapid uh, share uh, website. You're going to go to free user and then it's going to come up with a time limit thing. You're just going to wait till it down, uh, says 0 and then click download. I have it right over here, Red Snow. Then you're going to save it to somewhere you'll remember it. Okay. Anyway. Then you're going to also have, um, if you don't have the iOS 4 software, you can download it here. And uh, you can put it somewhere where, you know, you can save it somewhere where you'll remember it. That will be great. Okay. So let's close that. Now you're going to bring up you're going to open up that Red Snow program you just downloaded. So you're going to find it. Let's go. Okay. Right here. You're going to go to the Red Snow program. You're going to run. It says, Welcome to Red Snow 0.9.5B5-3. It says, Please select the corresponding IPSW for your current um, firmware. So you're going to go to Browse, you're going to go to the firmware that you just downloaded, and it's going to process the firmware. It's going to ask you if you're on an MC model. Now, if you are on an MC model, I would recommend that you do not do this. To see if you are on an MC model, you're going to go into your settings. So here, we're going to go to Settings, General about and you're going to go down to model it's right underneath the version and it'll say model right there mine says MB so I am not an MC model so it's good 531 LL it's right after that so since I am not on a MC model I can continue with this if you are an MC model I would recommend that you do not do this jailbreak but later on, I'm pretty sure that there is going to be another jailbreak, uh, simpler jailbreak than this. This is just like a pretty much an eager jailbreak for those who are very, you know, excited to have this jailbreak so that they can have it now. It's mainly for the older um, iPod Touch second generation because it's a lot easier to um, get the jailbreak. So anyway, so it, we are not on an MC model, so we're going to click no. And it's been the it's been successfully identified. So we're gonna go to next. It's gonna um, do its thing. Just run through all the stuff real quick. Okay. Now it's gonna uh, ask you for what you want. Now up here it says install Cydia. That's that's what you want really bad. So Cydia Cydia is great so that you can download all your third party applications, of course. And then. Um, down here it says enable multitasking, uh, enable home screen wallpaper, and enable battery percentage. Those would come on the 4.0 software, 
but since it's, this is a second generation, it doesn't come standard with the software. But with this jailbreak, it automatically can be um, put in as you do the jailbreak. So I would recommend you do those. Here we go. So you check those. We, if you want um, your custom boot logos and stuff, you can click on the other ones if you want. You can just read through them. Now you're going to click next. Now, this is when you have to make sure that your device is both off and plugged in. So now it's off. It's plugged in, but it's not off. So you're going to go ahead and hold the power button. Shut off your iPod touch. Okay. My iPod touches off and it's plugged in. Now it says only click n next if your device is both plugged in and off. So when I click next, it's this is where you're going to have to put it in DFU mode. So be prepared. It's going to have the instructions on there. You can do it really easily. So anyway, you're just basically putting it in DFU mode and it goes very simple. Just follow the instructions that they give you and um, I'll do the best to hold the camera and do this at the same time. So here we go. Alright, so we're going to have to click on that right there. Alright. Click next. Hold the power corner button for one and then Without releasing it, hold down the home button for seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Without releasing the home button, release the power button, but keep holding the home button for 26, 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20, 9, 8, 7. See, now it's, um, your screen will become white on your iPod but that's normal it's just waiting for the reboot and performing everything it's doing all the jailbreaking stuff for you now it's waiting for a reboot and everything uploading RAM disk and now it's saying downloading jailbreak data now it's going to reboot the iPod and then it says done on there so now it's just going to basically reboot it and then it'll be finished. So I'm click finish down around there if you're finished, since we're finished with that. So I'll do that real quick. Alright, I can close that down. Now basically we're just going to wait for the iPod to reboot and then it'll be ready. Alright, so it's going to be, um, it's coming up with this quick pawn type thing but it's a uh, it says flashing NOR it's just it's just continuing on with the jailbreak it's just finishing up rebooting and everything and everything will be finished here in just a minute all right now it's going to just quickly reboot okay so it just finished and we're going to go ahead and open it real quick so three just open up the password all right, as you can see, I have my there's a background in there of me. Hello. That's my that was my old wallpaper, but um that's really cool. Okay, so it's going to have city as a white um pretty much blank uh page, but it's um I read through the if you read through the page on the description, I said um it's going to start out like that, but um it's going to come back as a normal city uh, icon so don't worry about the blank icon just click on it like like so recognizing will automatically close when done Alright, and there's Cydia for you guys. And then you can um, add the sources and do your thing and everything. Um, I really hope that this helped you guys. Um, I've been searching for a long time. So if you could thumbs up, that would be fantastic. Or click subscribe. Anything you guys need, uh, leave a comment, ask a question if you need anything. And I'll get back to you guys. And I will talk to you guys later. See ya.